I thought it was another really good year for our program. I mean, uh, just short of being a fourth straight 20 win season. Um, you know, it's a team that played in the CA semifinals for the fourth straight year. Lost a very close game to UNC Wilmington, the eventual champions uh, in that. Uh, had a lot of individual accomplishments from our players as well. You know, Daniel Dixon, first team all conference. Omar Pruitt, second team all conference. Uh, Paul Rowley, all CA academic and Phi Beta Kappa. Uh, for the first time, we've had a, a basketball player since 1912 uh, involved in that. So, a lot of great individual accomplishments. It also is a great senior class now. Uh, you know, the, the most wins in, in uh, program history uh, the, and the most CAA wins in program history, too. So, uh, a lot of c accomplishments uh, for this group. The Jamaican trip was a lot of fun, and, and it, I think it was well-timed for us. Um, you know, a lot of young faces, a lot of new faces, and those guys, we got a chance to practice together, and we got a chance to play three games together, uh, and, uh, and kind of see this team firsthand a little bit. <music> Wonderful to have that practice time together. Uh, a lot of fun, you know, number two, uh, great chemistry building for our basketball team. Wonderful trip, uh, you know, I've, I've um, written some letters, but I really appreciate the people who donated money to allow us to do that, and it was, uh, it's one of those experiences our guys will never forget. last three years we've lost some outstanding players but what we feel good about with our program is that is that we think we can be consistently good at this point in time uh, you know the guard spots a position we, we feel really strong uh, about and good about right now David Cohn returns as a senior will be one of our captains um, and David will be asked to do a little bit more this year last year he uh, was the guy who distributed the ball and, and ran our team David's capable of scoring the ball he'll ask be asked to do more of that this year uh, we have a freshman coming in that, uh, that will be a very good backup point guard, Luke Lowy, 6'4 uh, from uh, Wisconsin, first team All-State, uh, very confident in his ability to run a club. Uh, we also have a guy, Oliver Tott, that uh, I'm going to list as a point guard, but we'll probably use him at about five different positions this year. His versatility, uh, we hope, will really come to the forefront this year. He literally could play anywhere from one to five for us this year uh, as a player. Uh, the two-guard spot we feel really good about. Uh, Connor Birchfield is a senior, is a dead-eye shooter, that in the last two years has really improved his overall play. We look for him to step up and be a key player for us. Uh, transfer that set out last year, Matt Milan, is, is really good. Uh, he uh, transferred from Boston College, was a successful ACC player as a freshman, and uh, we expect Matt to step in and be a, an impact player for us right away. So we feel really strong about that two-guard spot. we got some kids that can really shoot the ball and, and are very unselfish players as well. And also at the guard spot, you know, Omar Mustafa is a, is a walk-on that will be entering his second year and uh, has really gotten himself in great shape and uh, we're excited to see what he can add to our program this year. The wing players, the positions will be a little younger this year, but talented in my opinion. Justin Pierce, uh, is a guy we're really high on. Uh, had a good freshman year, uh, played behind a guy named Omar Pruitt, so he didn't get as much playing time as he, he probably would like, but very talented guy that we have great confidence in stepping in this year for us as a frontline player. Um, a, a freshman coming in, uh, Jahar Williams, 6'5", uh, elite level shooter from Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, we can use Jahar at the two or the three position for us. He's 6'5", good length, good size. Uh, and then Paul Rowley at the four spot, uh, you know, we look to have a, an outstanding season for us. You know, I think we saw flashes last year what Paul's capable of doing, but he's a, a really fine shooter. But what's boosted his position is that he's a better all-around player right now. He's learned to pass the ball at a high level. He's really using his length to be a strong defender. Uh, so we expect great things. That, and have you ever seen a guy enjoy the game as much as Paul Rowley? You know, he smiles on the court uh, and has a great time with his teammates. In the post, 
uh, will be very talented but shallow. Well, we don't have a lot of depth there, but Nathan Knight uh, has the potential to be one of our better post players in many years uh, for us. Had a great freshman year, all CA rookie team as a freshman. Uh, we expect him to step up big time for us this year. Uh, very explosive player, very talented player, uh, very versatile player, can do a lot of things for us. He's got no one to beat but Nathan Knight, and Nathan Knight says no! Cole Harrison is a graduate transfer for us this year. Uh, will be with us only one year. It's the first time we've ever had a player, a young student in this, this situation. Uh, Cole's a big young man. He's 6'10". Um, he really has a chance to fill a great role for us. We, we, we don't have a lot of depth inside. And so bringing him in really has helped our team, helped us in practice already. And I think on game day, he, he has a chance to play a really important role for us. Yeah, and I can't tell you how important that stability in our staff has been in recent years. Uh, you know, Jonathan, I believe, is entering his 10th year here uh, at William & Mary. Uh, been, been real key for us in recruiting and what we do on court as well. Uh, Austin Shaver and, and Cody Kimball, I think, both entering their eighth year on our staff. And it's just remarkable, honestly, to be able to say that in, in a mid-major program where there's usually a lot of movement in staffs. Uh, at that level, so really proud of that. Uh, and it's one of the keys to our success, one of the big keys to our success. It helps us in recruiting, the stability we have there. You know, the guys that, uh, you know, Jonathan and Austin Cody recruit, you know, they're coaching them over the course of their four years. And, and those guys know how we like to play, and, and they, they have very strong influence in, in what we do on game day. So it's a great group. And Luke Ford is our director of basketball, I, is entering his fourth year uh, as a part of our staff. And uh, Luke's more important than a great point guard. He does so many things for our program that uh, it just it makes it easy on the rest of us. Really proud to have him as a part of our staff. Very tough schedule, once again. You know, we're, uh, we're playing uh, three high major games on the road. Uh, we're playing at Ohio State. Uh, we're playing at TCU, which will probably be one of the top 10 or 15 teams in the country this year, won the NIT last year, and we're playing at Central Florida. Uh, in addition to that, we have home games. Excited about our home schedule this year. We've got Old Dominion coming here at home this year, uh, you know, team we've won five out of our last six games against. Uh, we have Marshall uh, coming in here, a Conference USA opponent uh, that we'll be playing it here at home this year. And then we've, we've tried to keep that in-state flavor. Hampton has always been a challenging game for us. And uh, so a very challenging schedule for our team once again. I think it'll be a very balanced league once again from top to bottom. It's going to be very difficult to win ball games. I would say that the College of Charleston has their entire team back. Will probably be the team to beat this year. Towson, very experienced team returning. And Elon, you know, a newcomer in our league three or four years ago, uh, will have their most experienced team and, and be very, very solid and very strong as well. But it uh, should be a great league. Uh, you know, we, we appreciate the support we've been given in recent years, and uh, I think how valuable that is shows in our home record last year. We were 13-1 and here in Kaplan Arena, uh, and our one loss was a, was a last-second loss uh, here at home. So it's been a great thing for us, and hope that will continue this year. What I love right now is the attitude of this team. It's such a positive group to work with. Uh, every guy in that locker room uh, is, is in it for the group. Uh, and uh, that's such a good feeling uh, for our ball club. And I think you'll see nothing but team play. There won't be a bone of selfishness with this team at all. And, and that always gives you a chance to, to reach your peak as a basketball team.